Hello everyone, Sazabi here. Today we're not going to be taking a look at this kid. No, we're going to be taking a look at this. The 1 to 100 Full Action Zeta Gundam. I won't delay any longer. Let's get around the outside and inside of this box. Starting immediately with the front of the box, we can see a beautiful illustration of the mobile suit itself, though with a surprising shield placement, and the transformation displayed in six patterns, not step patterns. Moving along to the bottom of the box, we can see that this is Zeta Gundam series number 25. Here it is in its Wave Rider mode, and here's it using its beam rifle and grenade launchers. Turning this around to the right side of the box, we can see an image of the Zeta Gundam, as well as the production date for this kit, 1985. The other side of the box is the exact same, so let's move on to the top. Now, it's time to turn the box. We have four images of a painted copy of this kit on this side. One's a front shot, one's a back shot, and the other two are poses. I'll take a really slow scan of it so you can see the whole thing. Now, this has been a look around all sides of the box. Let's open it up and see what's inside. Opening the box greets us with something very common for this time period. A cardboard insert featuring some text about the mobile suit and some line art. Straight beneath that is the manual and then the runners underneath. Let's start with the manual. The instruction manual, like the cardboard insert before it, greets us with both text and art, though this art is lifted from the front of the box. Unlike what you'd expect for a 1 to 100 scale kit, this kit features fold-out instructions similar to a high-grade mobile suit. Then, on the back of the instruction manual is a painting guide. This is both a parts list and a requirement for making this kit look good, or at least color accurate. Opening this instruction manual straight down the middle reveals even more stuff here. You have some more painted copies of the kit, as well as a demonstration of the transformation in two different ways. First of all, you have the traditional line art style, then the actual instructions, which are presented as actual pictures of the mobile suit. Moving on to the runners now, here we can see a yellow runner and a black runner. The black runner appears to be missing a lot of red, and the yellow is only for the V-fin. No vents, unfortunately. Moving right along into the next bag, we see only the Grey Runner with a very unfortunate small container of super glue. It looks to be a two part super glue, so nothing, so hopefully nothing's damaged. Next up, we have the Red Runner, which appears to be missing some white, and the Polycap Runner. Polycaps were something gained this year that continue to live on today. Next up, we have the Blue Runner. I think you can already see the problem with the Beam Rifle, but otherwise there isn't much to note on here. Last but not least is the final bag containing the White Runner and what I believe are some water slides, used for both extra details and some color correction. So, this has been my unboxing of the 1 to 100 scale full action Zeta Gundam. 
Overall, it's a fairly substantial kit plastic-wise, though we can already begin to see where there might be some issues with it later down the road. For now, I'll just have to build it. This is Sazabi, signing off. Oh, and uh, one more thing. There won't be a traditional build video for this kit, because I'll be live-streaming it. It's gonna be this Saturday, 1 o'clock US Central Time, right here on this channel. Have a good one, everyone.